Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm nearing the end of week two and uh, coming along pretty well with the build. It's going uh, quick. The weather's been great and uh, everything's coming together the way I hoped it would. So I just finished putting the mahogany siding, the skin on the uh, opposite gable end of this building where the loft is. And uh, now I'm building the fly rafters. I've got one up there. Uh, I'll build the other one, get that up, and same thing at the other gable end. Uh, once those fly rafters are up, I'm good to install the fascia. And uh, then I'm, I'm, I'm good to proceed with putting the metal roof in. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Get that roof on and, and keep the rain that's ultimately going to come here in the next few days uh, out of this building. After I get the roof on, then I'll begin to trim out the building. As you may recall, I'm going to put battens on uh, over this mahogany so it has a board and batten look. So I've got my battens right here, uh, and they will be spaced every 12 inches on center. So that's going to look pretty cool. Uh, I won't actually trim out the door and windows until I build those. So uh, those will come in a future video. Anyway, let's get going. that look up just a hair up on the very on the on the tip yep there he is right about there yep not quite even with these but ah. double Well guys, I just installed my first metal panel and uh, or began the installation. I only got about six screws in before it started the misting rain, of course. <laughs> so this is Oregon. Um, there was about a 50% chance of rain today. I had my fingers crossed that it uh, would not rain. And uh, it's just barely, barely raining. It's misty, but... Uh, that panel is soaking wet and it is slick as ice. So I don't dare tempt Providence. I am not going to be working on this metal roof today. The metal roof panels are 130 inches long by 38 inches wide. So I'll be putting eight panels across each side. Um, there's rain in the forecast for about the next week. And it was misty raining this morning. It rained all day yesterday. Um, it's dry enough right now for me to get these panels up and uh, fasten, the, fasten them where I can from the ladder. Uh, it is not, uh, I don't feel comfortable actually climbing on these panels just yet. Uh, I will do that to put all of the fasteners in. I'll have a safety rope attached to me, um, but it's still a little slick up there, uh, the panel that I installed yesterday. So... Anyway, I'm going to keep putting these panels up, take advantage of it not raining. It's not sunny, but um, that's okay. Uh, and like I said, I'll fasten as many, as, the, as many of the panels as I can from uh, the ladder and from the loft when I get down to that end.
Oh man, guys, it's cold this morning, but no rain uh, in the forecast for today. Just kind of overcast, but no rain. That's a good thing. I'm going to attempt to finish the roof on the back side of the uh, of the building here. As it turns out, I miscalculated my roofing material, and I'm short two panels. Again, my panels are 130 inches long by 38 inches wide. Uh, and the gable end on that end, uh, or that end of the roof, actually takes a 19 inch uh, panel. So it's eight 38 inch pieces going across and then a 19 inch to finish it off. So that's one panel split down the middle. So I missed that panel as well as a, a full 38 inch panel. So anyway, I just left my lumber yard and ordered those two panels. Uh, unfortunately, they're not going to be here till the end of next week. So I'll get as much of this done as I can. I'm going to then tarp those couple of areas where, uh, where I'm missing those panels. And I should be good to go for keeping the rain out anyways. So uh, that's the plan. Um, the next couple of days, there is rain in the forecast. But again, we're in Oregon, so you just never know. If it doesn't rain, I'll be back out here. I want to start putting the battens on the building and trimming up the corners and so forth. I still have fascia to put uh, where my fly rafters are. Um, and, uh, you know, basically the trim work. All right, guys.
So the weather has really been crummy the past couple of days. In fact, yesterday, Lisa and I went over to Medford, uh, which is the nearest big city to us. If we want to shop uh, any big box stores, for example, or fly out of a real airport, uh, it's about three to three and a half hours from us. And we have to cross over a, a mountain range. Um, the road, the elevation where the road is going over that range only is about a, as high as about 2,000 feet. But regardless, uh, it's a good three to three and a half hours. Well, yesterday, as we approached that 2,000 foot elevation, we got into the middle of a huge snowstorm. And uh, it was almost whiteout conditions, uh, which we're not used to. We don't really get much snow here on the Southern Oregon coast. Um, if we do, it's just flurries and they don't last very long if they even hit the ground. Uh, so that was pretty treacherous if you're not used to driving in snow and it took us a lot longer uh, to get over there and get back. Bottom line is, uh, because of the weather, I have not had uh, much opportunity to get any work done out here on the building. Um, I originally was going to begin the process of installing the ridge caps on uh, this end of the roof, uh, if you remember, but you know, I'm still missing that last panel and then the final half panel that goes on each side. And I won't have those pieces until next week. So I was gonna get started on this today, but you know, it's not raining. However, it is crazy windy today. And um, there is no way I'm getting up on that roof. One of the greatest challenges of installing a ridge cap by yourself is how do you stabilize yourself up on that roof? Um, I thought that I would originally just sort of straddle the ridge and move along the ridge and install the cap as I go, but that would mean actually sitting on this ridge, straddling the ridge. And unfortunately, this ridge is really pretty flimsy. And I'm afraid if I sat on this ridge and pushed it down, you know, as I as I moved to screw it in, I, I'm afraid I might dent this ridge and damage it. And I don't want to do that. So I got to do uh, come up with a different system for stabilizing myself on this on this roof. You know, it's an 812 pitch, so it's a steep roof. I did a little research on YouTube and uh, looked at some videos from everybody from professional roofers to the do-it-yourselfer. And honestly, there's no like easy way to do this. <laughs> so uh, I did see some sort of ingenious and creative ideas, uh, both from the pros and the do-it-yourselfers, which I may try. One is using an extension ladder to uh, lay on the pitch of the roof with some padding on that ladder. The bottom of the ladder actually sits in the bucket of my tractor, so I can raise that bucket to whatever level I want stabilize the tractor and uh and then you sort of climb up the ladder laying against the pitch and do your work from that angle that seems like uh, it might be pretty reasonable and i may end up doing it that way i've also seen people create jigs stabilizing jigs that reside on either side of the pitch uh and then have sort of this this uh, almost like a bridge that the ridge slides under so you can work from the top of that. That could work too. Regardless, I do have to come up with a system and I've decided that I'm gonna wait until I get those last couple of pieces of roofing material installed before I begin this, this ridge cap work. Um, I have a feeling that this is going to be a full day's worth of, of work, just kind of moving you know, the ladder around or however I do stabilize myself. I have all the safety gear and the safety ropes and so forth, and I'll be wearing that as I have uh, when I'm up on the roof right now. Um, but I'm not going to do this work until I get those last panels installed, and those will be here next week. So um, I'd hope to have wrapped that up today, but unfortunately, no go. Um, I do have my foam enclosure strips as well, so I'll, I'll install those first, and then the rib, uh, the ridge cap goes over those foam enclosure strips. But again, that's going to happen next week. Today, because it's not raining, uh, it is windy, I may open up the battens and install a few battens on the building and 
and see what that looks like. Again, I'm going with this board and batten look, even though it is a mahogany siding that I put up, not individual boards. I still intend to run battens every 12 inches to give it that board and batten look. All right, let's go. Well guys, except for under the windows and around the door, I've put the battens up on this side of the building and the look has exceeded my expectations. It really looks awesome. Um, that board and batten look is what I was going after and I think uh, we've achieved it. So really excited about getting the battens on the rest of the building. Um, also wondering how we should finish this building. You know, we, uh, we're, we're going after this look of sort of an old world country cottage. And uh, the idea, if you can imagine, kind of like uh, uh, window frames that are painted like a light blue or something like that. And the rest of the building is some kind of contrasted color. Um, not sure if we want to paint the building or stain the building. Um, I think the paint would actually create a better sealant, obviously. We are on the coast of Oregon, and so we do get rain during the wintertime. Um, but regardless, uh, I'm not sure what to do yet. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Paint or stain? And would you go with a darker color with, you know, sort of that colored trim I was talking about? Kind of a weathered painted look around those old vintage windows that I hope to install, uh, or the look of old vintage windows. I'm not sure I can use those windows that I found in our little cabin here. But anyway, again, we want this building to look like it's been here for a hundred years when it's done. I'm not looking for this super clean, ultra new kind of look. So that's that. Um, the weather's a little iffy over the next few days, so I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to get anything done on the building. Again, I'm waiting on those uh, two additional roof panels, which won't be here till the end of next week. So I think I may take a couple of days off from the building and take you guys on a gold panning adventure. So stay tuned. I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. We had a lot of new subscribers in the last video and I sure do appreciate that. We're a young channel and growing and uh, we appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next video.